Now let's take a first look at the reliability QoS policy. The reliability QoS policy is something that you would use to configure how reliable a connection between a data writer and a data reader is. So by default, uh, there is no reliability between a data writer and data reader. This is what is known as best effort. So there are no guarantees that data sent by a data writer will be received by a data reader. It could be lost uh, on the network, and DDS is not trying to keep track of that, or nor will it try to repair any lost packets. However, any data that does arrive at the data reader will definitely be arri arriving in order. You'll never get data out of order. If you want a connection between a data writer and data reader to be reliable, you would use the reliability QoS to configure that. So let's take a look at what it means to, be ha to have a reliable connection. When you have a reliable connection, any data that you send by a data writer, for example, D1 and D2, uh, will be stored in a queue on the data, uh, for the data writer called a send queue or data writer cache. We have a copy of this data just in case the data gets lost. If the data gets lost by the network, there's a copy to send as a repair packet. Uh, on the data reader side, the data reader will receive the data in its receive queue and its data will remain there until the application takes the data. So let's send another piece of data, D3. In this case, D3 is lost by the network. And before uh, DDS can detect that the data is lost, maybe, maybe your application has sent D4 and D5. Notice, on the subscriber, in the receive queue, we do have D4 and D5, but they're grayed out. This indicates that the data is not actually available to be taken by the data reader. So even though we have a copy of D4 and D5, we're not going to let the data reader, the application, uh, take the data from the data reader. That's because we're missing D3. So eventually, the reliable protocol notices that D3 is missing and sends a repair packet. And once it's received the repair packet, D3, D4, and D5 can now be presented to the data reader um, and then allows the application to take D3, D4, and D5. So the reliable protocol basically is used uh, to check whether or not all data is received, uh, to send repair packets for any data that's not, uh, that has been lost, to uh, basically give you a reliable connection between the data writer and data reader. Let's talk about the configuration of the reliability QoS policy. The reliability QoS policy is configured with two parameters. One is called kind, the other one is max blocking time. Reliability kind can be set to two different values, best effort or reliable. By default, reliability is best effort, which actually just means don't turn on reliability. If you want reliable data, you must set kind to reliable. Max blocking time is a value that you set to determine what's the maximum amount of time that a data writer write will block if the send queue is full. We'll discuss why that condition might happen in a different lesson. But for now, let's take a look at the reliable setting for reliability kind. The reliability setting, or the reliable setting, basically tells DDS to start using the DDS RTPS reliability protocol for sending and receiving data. This protocol will send data, it will send heartbeats and acts and NACs to test whether or not data is lost or to ask if data is lost. And if it determines that data is lost, it will repair the data. You set this reliability QoS policy independently for data readers and data writers. So different data readers and data writers may have different settings. However, the reliability protocol or reliability QoS policy must be set compatibly it does follow an RxO contract because it is a behavior that's end to end. So what the data writer offers must be at least what the data reader requests. Here, the reliable uh, uh, service level is higher than the best effort service level. So a reliable data writer can service both data readers that are best effort as well as reliable. But a best effort data writer can only service best effort data readers. 
For periodic or streaming data, this may not be what you want. For periodic or streaming data, the latest data is more valuable than older data. It's important to receive the data deterministically, predictably, as opposed to getting all the data. With the reliable data streams, you may get newer data values already in your application, but you're not going to be able to access it until all the older values have been repaired. Not only does this add overhead to implement the reliability protocol, but it introduces non-determinism into the system. So for many use cases for periodic or streaming data, best effort reliability is actually preferred. You want to have access to the newest data at all times. This gives you the best resource usage in terms of minimizing the CPU and network bandwidth consumption. And it also will reduce the jitter or the variation on the reception time.